อาดวันเลยโซล่ากราฟิกส์ได้เพิ่มมากขึ้นในปีนี้ด้วยการเพิ่มอีก 29% ของความสามารถในปี2024ด้วยมากที่นั้นเป็นเพราะจากจีนแต่คุณเคยสงสัยว่าพลังงานแห่งการสร้างของพลังงานแห่งการสร้างของพลังงานแห่งการสร้างของพลังงานแห่งการสร้างของพลังงานแห่งการสร้างของพลังงานแห่งการสร้างของพลังงานแห่งการสร้างของพลังงานแห่งการสร้างของพลังงานแห่งการสร้างของพลังงานแห่ง So we're here in Jiaxing at Longi's Lighthouse Factory, and this place is huge. It's over 120 hectares, and their annual capacity is 35 gigawatts. So rather than listen to me waffling on outside, shall we go and get stuck in? Longi's Lighthouse Factory is a smart factory, but what makes it smart? Well, behind the scenes, there's a lot of data and AI making the manufacturing process. As efficient as possible. Behind me is the latest HIMO 9 module from Longi, and this really excels with efficiency. So, if you have a scenario which has low light conditions all year round, for example, like the UK, or limited land resources, then this really gives you much more for much longer. Now, these are not just for residential use. In fact, they're mostly For commercial uses, and Longi have installed these in many scenarios around the world, from arid desert environments to moist, difficult sea conditions. But have you ever wondered how these are actually built? Well, me too, and it's been quite a learning journey. So I want to start off by using a sandwich analogy. So I want to demonstrate how these are actually built, and I've donned my special white gloves for this because there's a few ingredients that go into this sandwich. So the first one is this. This is the t y r e wafer, uh, essentially a very thin piece of silicon which forms the basis of the cell and eventually the module. This is then processed. Many many processes go through to create this, which basically looks pretty much the same. But it's a lot more colourful and with a lot more wires going through it. This is the HPBC 2.0 cell, and as you can see, it's got these wires on one side, but not the other, because in the finished product here, which is this, this is basically a demonstration, a small um, module here. On this side, there are no wires, which means it's much more efficient. There's more surface area, which can gather light from the sun. So we've seen that on a much smaller scale. Now I want to show you what a real proper module looks like. Now we're going to start at the back over here. This is the junction box, essentially the wires that plug it into the panel. Coming down here, we have a back sheet, but on the HIMO 9 modules, this is actually a back glass. Coming through, we go EVA, then the thin coated ribbon, and then we come to the solar cells here. This is with the Tyre wafer on the inside. Coming down here, basically it all repeats all over again until we come to the front of the panel with the silica gel. And the aluminium alloy frame. So, what does this all mean? These panels have a world-leading 25.4% panel efficiency. This is the highest crystallized silicon module efficiency in the world. So, these panels are actually rated at 660 watts on the front side only. But thanks to their design, they actually get an additional 15 to 20%. Thanks to the backside, due to refracted and reflected light. So next up, let's go and actually look how these panels are put together on the factory floor. Get ready to go into the factory. It's my favourite part. How do I look? Okay, so here in the Jiaxing Longi factory, we're at the very first step of the process that happens here. So the individual cells come to this factory from their other factory in Xi'an, and this is where they all get soldered together, basically in a big long line. And this machine is working so quickly, but then it all comes out in a big long ribbon along here. And you'll see over here, this is the start of your module or your panel, and they've all been soldered together. And the factory does something like one panel every 16 to 18 seconds, and here 
is another one. Done. I say done, there's a few more steps it needs to take. So you remember earlier when we saw that sandwich with the panel exploded in the showroom? Well, once you've got the cells laid out, you actually need to put the next layer on top of them. It's the encapsulation material. And this is what this machine is now doing. So you see this big roll here, it's going out on top of the panel. And then as you see over here, it then has that layer on top of the cells. So now the cells are sandwiched in between, ready for the next step. So once they've got all of their sandwich pieces together, they're gonna go into these machines over here and basically be tested for electroluminescence. Basically a small current gets passed through to see if the whole thing is working, the panel is okay. Now we've got our lovely solar sandwich with all the layers together, but they're not actually glued together yet. They're still loose. So this is the laminating machine. All these sheets, all these panels, all these modules will go into here where it gets heated to over 100 degrees and basically fused together to make a solid panel that's really, really strong. And obviously we're not gonna go into the oven. So like when you squeeze down a cheese sandwich and all the cheese squeezes out the sides, it needs to be trimmed off. That's what this machine is doing, just trimming off the excess. Right, this rather noisy location, this is where the junction boxes are put onto the back of the panel. So we've got the panels, they're ready. They can collect sunlight, but they can't get that power into your house, for example. Right, now we see the panels coming through and they're gonna get welded into place very quickly with these machines in here. Done, next. Now there's another inspection point here. They're checking the junction boxes on each of the panels to see if they're okay. So again, checked by AI using machines. Three okays, I think we're good to move on. Well, now we're at the framing stage of the process. We can put our big panels into a frame. Now they've got to glue it. The machine glues it with silicon glue and that's got to be special glue. It's got to last for 30 years in difficult circumstances and then they put the four sides of the frame on and you've got your panel basically now the next part of the testing is the iv test which i've been told is basically current and voltage basically does the panel work and it comes up on this graph here if there's enough voltage and current going through the panel then it passes the test but if you look down here i don't know if you'll see it but you'll see a bright white flash which is basically simulating sunlight just a few milliseconds long, like a camera flash. There you go. Now these are the final two steps of the process. Behind me we have the EL text test or the electroluminescence test. Again, done by AI. It's just scanning the panel here to see if everything's okay, basically. And then the very last test is just the visual test. It's done by AI, done by cameras down there uh, before it goes into the warehouse, ready for distribution to your home or business. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet because we're in the brain of the factory. This is the AI lab, which is controlling all of the processes. But by having this AI brain, they've managed to reduce uh, product net yield losses by up to 43%. They've managed to reduce headcount by 75% by using all these AI features across the factory. And finally, they've increased their product efficiency by 25% in the factory, which are some incredible numbers. And I'm sure with this brain continuing to, to grow and to learn, it's only going to increase in the future. So you think back to that AI brain, that doesn't just control the manufacturing process, but it controls the shipping, the scheduling as well. Therefore, product spends a lot less time in the warehouse here and actually get shipped out together, therefore saving carbon emissions. And there's just one incredible statistic that I want to leave you with. That's Longy counts for 27% of global PV panel shipments around the world. Isn't that just amazing? With solar expanding globally, it's companies like Longy who are really leading the way in helping people's lives creating efficiencies and constant innovation and ultimately to help us all make everything electric. Longy.